Good, happy Monday morning. I'm Riley King, and welcome to Good Morning, New Hampshire. Let's get started. First up, security experts warn holiday shoppers about skimming devices. Let's take a listen to this video from WMUR News 9. St. Mary's Bank has been putting New Hampshire families first. As the nation's first credit union, our values haven't changed, but the times have. From mortgages and auto loans to mobile banking solutions, we deliver all the services and technologies you need for the way you live today. We work for the individuals, families, and businesses that make up our membership, not some distant stockholders. We always have and we always will. Bank with the nation's first credit union, St. Mary's Bank. Tonight's snow isn't the only sign of winter. The holiday shopping season is here, and security experts say people need to be on the lookout for skimming devices, which can steal debit or credit card information. The credit cards with the chips on them, those are the most secure. So if you've got a credit card with a chip, that's probably the way to go. Peter LaMonica, a computer forensic analyst who teaches at Manchester Community College, says crooks could target shoppers over the next month. Skimmers are generally planted in ATMs and gas pumps. La Monica recommends concealing your PIN code as you type it in and check to see if the card reader is loose. If something looks like it's new or been replaced recently, make sure that that's not a skimmer. Police in two New Hampshire communities are investigating recent incidents. Last weekend, a Hillsborough bank found a device after customers said they had trouble swiping their cards. A similar skimmer was found at the same bank in Manchester. Police hope these surveillance pictures help to find the suspect. The equipment was fairly sophisticated, uh, especially the camera system. Completely subdued, it blended in perfectly with the ATM. It's unclear if anyone's card was compromised. Investigators won't say which banks were affected. The bank took precautions and alerted everybody that had used the ATM. As more people buy gifts for the holidays, La Monica says to always be careful with cards. The really good deals from that guy down, you know, that you never heard of may just be too good to be true. Uh, be careful when you give your credit card number out over the phone. You're not really sure who's on the other end of the line. Authorities advise to always check your accounts for fraudulent charges, and if you do run into an issue, call your bank or police. Live in the studio, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9. Okay, and there you go on that report. Queen City convenience store burglarized for a second time in less than a week. A Manchester store has been targeted by a burglar again. Saturday night marked the second time in less than a week. The Z1 Express on 2nd Street has been broken into. The most recent burglary occurred at 10.45, 42pm, police said. Someone threw rocks through the glass front door. Surveillance video shows an individual who is approximately 5 feet 9 inches to 6 feet 2 inches tall, who has wearing blue jeans, a black sweatshirt, black gloves, and a black hat. The burglar still scratch tickets and other merchandise, police said. On Wednesday, when the store was last targeted, the thieves also smashed the door and took cash from the register and cigarettes. At this time, police aren't sure if the two cases are connected. James Madison has emerged as a favored contender for Defense Secretary. Retired Marine Corps Gen James Mad Dog Madison has emerged as a favored contender for nomination as Secretary of Defense in the Trump administration. ABC News has learned winning strong 
public praises from the president-elect, and an endorsement from retired Jen Jack Keen. Cyber Monday eats Black Friday as Walmart takes holiday matchup one step further. Black Friday deals have already speed into Thanksgiving dinner. Now Walmart is taking the holiday creep one step further. For the first time this season, the world's largest retail will kick off its Cyber Week deals the day after Thanksgiving, a time typically res reserved for in-store door busters. The online sale begins at 12.01 a.m. Eastern on Black Friday, with deals including a Samsung 6-inch HD Smart TV for more than 1000 off. St. Louis police kill gunman who ambushed officer. St. Louis police have killed a gunman they say ambushed an officer in a shooting on Sunday. And now let's go to your weather. Here's a live look on radar right now. As you see on radar, we have a few snow showers in the White Mountains and in other parts of New Hampshire and in Vermont area as well. But today will be, it will be on and off day today with that. And now let's take a look at your weather on our weather system. Your weather on our weather system, your wind speed peak is 7 miles per hour, average is 3, current is 2 in between west and southwest. Your temperature is 27 degrees, dew point is 23 degrees, your forecast is partly cloudy. Your pressure is 29.21. Now let's take a look at your weather for today and tonight. Your weather for today and tonight. Today, mostly cloudy, windy, and cold. A passing shower, snow, or rain shower. Possible breezy and chilly. Highs, 40 degrees. Tonight, clear to partly cloudy. Low near 30 degrees. Winds west at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Now, let's take a look at your next seven-day forecast. And here's a look at your next seven-day forecast. Today, breaks, flakes, 39 degrees. And now let's take a look at that traffic. Here's a look at your traffic right now. We're seeing a lot of green roadways, and we have a little tiny red area and yellow area. Otherwise, the traffic is moving pretty good on your Monday morning. And we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back with more of Good morning, New Hampshire. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. 